So first thing we need to have a box kind of thing. Not a kind of thing, a box only. <laughs> so now uh, you have to make it bigger and put it exactly top of here. Now delete the face. And what else we need to do with this is a uh, use default shading and two sided lighting. So this is how it looks. And I need a plane here, make it bigger, make it a bit smaller, like so. And I need to increase the you know, subdivision like 100 kind of thing. And we need to have a deformer. So texture deformer is going to be perfect. And here we have texture. Here we can have noise and click here. And again, see we have this uh, this this noise stuff is going to be noise. And you can see we have something like this. And first we need the camera and put the camera and put it like so here so now we can make this a bit bigger like so and here we have this one resolution get and make it brighter by pressing alt b and what else we need to do we have to increase this one so can zoom it like so and select this one and rotation 90 degree and there you have it so lock it and now increase this one like this okay it should cover the whole area now we have this water level i can make it like a bit higher now go to this i don't have vray here plugin manager and vr and click and it will take time to load and what else we can do we can refresh it and close it and take this vray here and a very very small changes i have to do color mapping is going to be exponential and this is going to be bucket because uh, in maya vray is not supporting caustics in progressive rendering i don't know why but this is how it is and make it full to get faster feedback and of course we need this uh, global illumination along with this caustics effect turned on and we have this one this is called low thread priority and there you go so you need to make a smoothness in it so go for this video tab means a shelf here you can click and select it and go for attribute editor and take subdivision so now click and click here and click and click here and this this is the the water water is going to be this is going to be white and 1.2 is going to be the iowa and effect shadow off so these three things you should do in this uh, refraction tab and then you're good to go and save it always save your work how well done and now we need what that we need a uh, light and in this case the light is this and make it like this so minus 90 degree and it has to be very very small 0 0.05 kind of thing or maybe 0 0.5 yeah no 0 0.1 let me see this is working or not and put it something like here and this one is going to be like a crazy amount kind of intensity because of we have made it small and uh, 
save and right click and current and let me see how it works now you can see we have got a nice caustics effect let me stop it right there you can do it again and we have you can see this is very very uh, in a blurry kind of thing that's because of we don't have any much subdivision and that subdivision is not about your render settings it is about your caustic settings and where it is we can select this light and go for this photons and if you have this subdivision make it 5000 to get a very crisp looking output now it will take time because of we have increased the subdivision of photons now you can see it is you know, building the photons right here <clears throat> no worse once it is done and then it is going to be start calculating the rendering thing you can see we have much more cleaner output now you can see that we can have a much more cleaner output and you can see we have very fine uh, lines we have here so this is how you can make the this caustics effects inside a uh, video maya and if you need to have uh you know a like little bit of bluish color so we have right click and this material and here, here we have this, uh, where is the, this one, refraction, okay, so I have got the wrong one, so I can select it from here, and then you can come to here, then change it to blue, kind of like not that much yeah that much blue we need now let me see and to see this thing i need to reduce it because of and you don't need now it will take time so you know the basic idea about how it works for the final render you can use this um, this subdivision for making this thing you should not use that otherwise it will take huge time to build a photons and we have got something like this so if I render this out, now this is the caustics we have here, and this is how we can make this caustic inside V-Ray Maya.